continue the series of the great Oriental uh, Chachamim, the great Sephardi Rabbanim of yesteryear. And again, just like I did a video only a few days ago with regards to a great Chacham from Tunisia, another great Chacham from Tunisia, it is Hilula Ki on Hei Tamuz. His name was Amukubal Chacham Rabbi Khalifa Kohen. A very great rabbi from Tunisia, from Java, actually, like many of the other great uh, Tunisian rabbis, where there was a flourishing Torah community over there. He was actually born back in the year 1850, and uh, to, uh, his, came from great, great, great lineage, as we'll learn about. He had uh, a special yichus from Ezra HaSofer, uh, his current state as well, uh, is, and uh, through a very uh, strong lineage, very, very great uh, lineage. His father was also a great rabbi, Rav Moshe, and his... His uh, Ima was uh, Rabbanit Valida also. And uh, he was born back in the year 1850 in uh, Jerba, as I stated before. And uh, he obviously was learning at a very young age. He was learning uh, very uh, very uh, incredibly within regards to the deepest uh, levels of the Torah. He became an expert, started learning Kabbalah at a later age, and uh, learned in the great Shivot of Tunisia. In fact, he became the Chazad, a very famous synagogue in Tunisia, something of the name which is also famous nowadays, very, very well known. It was a Beit Knesset al Griva over there. He was the Chazan of the Beit Knesset, and he also uh, gave drashot and was a leader over there also. Also, he, 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 he had uh, a few sons also, and they became very, very great uh, Torah scholars, including Rabbi Yehuda Manini, who was actually the composer of the book, the Kol Yehuda, and Rav Shimon, another one of his great sons, the great uh, Talmud Raham, who wrote the Shimon Musar also. Many, many things can also be said. His actual son became one of the leaders in, uh, in Tunisia also of the area, which I've spoken about beforehand, Zarazis which was, a, was a, a big town with a great amount of uh, Torah scholarly. It was a uh, great city in Tunisia where there was a huge amount of Torah scholarship over there. And uh, he uh, was called, he published books with regards to his kids' books also. He uh, were published, there's uh, something called the Midrash Shlomo. And uh, was a, a huge, huge array of sermons that was composed by his son, Hacham Shimon HaKohen. And uh, he himself published a different book, something called the Tilat Yisrael, which was printed also together with another book called the Ken Sipor, which was done by his uncle also, who was also great, Rabbi Hacham Abraham HaKohen. And it was actually on the 5th of Tammuz, back in the year 1950, so, uh, where he passed away in Jerba in the year 1932. And then later on, they would move his uh, body to, uh, to Eretz Israel at a later stage. I believe it was on Chavchet Yar, which happens to be Yom Yerushalayim. So it was a great date. Uh, Chavchet uh, Yar was before actual Yom Yerushalayim took place. Because naturally, this would have been uh, before that at an uh, earlier stage in time. Also, he wrote, just to give a brief summary of the books he wrote, it was not just those books, it was also the Kikar Zahab, the Kikar Ladan, and the Kikar Lechem also, these were books. There was also the Midrash Shlomo, which was in three volumes also. The Simcha Sason was another book. It was a composition of the Haggadah Shel Pesach, which is still, I believe, used very much nowadays. And also the Tehillot Yisrael, which I spoke about before, which is a book on the Tehillim itself. And he was, as I said before, very, very... Uh, diligent in the Torah said he's learning from day to night over there and uh was just learning basically the whole time one of the great Rabonim of Tunisia also his uh, grandfather was uh, also a great man of them Rav Sayyid also who uh from the side of his father who was I, I mentioned before was a great rabbi Rav Moshe his father Rav Sayyid also a great rabbi in Tunisia also so he was had a huge part in regards to the Beit Knesset of Tunisia, the, the Beit Knesset of Al Griba, very very famous Chazan there, very very powerful rabbi, and uh, was would, lived around uh, around eighty two years. So Tisulule, he passed away in nineteen thirty two. So we at the time of this video, twenty twenty three. So he this is we're talking about ninety one years ago, he passed away, and maybe we light candles in his Lulina Shmat, and among the great rabbis of Tunisia, Hey Tammuz, this week. And Shabbat Shalom from everyone in advance, because I'm recording this live here on Erev Shabbat, just before Parashat Chukat here from Israel. Have a great day and a meaningful one, and a great Shabbat.